Some of the new stuff that we try to do in 2017 in engaging members in between General Assemblies, I think, really worked. We had the regional members' meetings. I think I was at all of them. And it was fantastic to be with the members, to see them discuss across chambers, to see them discuss issues that were specifically relevant for the region. I think that was a fantastic thing that we're going to do again. Another thing that I felt was really memorable was at the General Assembly, which in itself is a spectacular event, we had this launching of the Vancouver Declaration, which was fantastic in the sense that this is the first time I think we as an organization have come together and demonstrated how we are relevant to a United Nations for all of the world agenda and how we could get the companies to commit to this agenda and how I think this was dramatically relevant also for the social and environmental change. One of the big things I believe we achieved in 2017 was to get agreement across all chambers on the indicators for how we protect workers' rights in FSC. We got agreement on the indicators for how we approach the ILO core conventions. In 2017, we had a lot of discussion and also some discontent around how we're dealing with indigenous people's issues. I think there was a feeling in the membership that we didn't inform well enough about what's happening in the Permanent Indigenous Peoples Committee. I believe we came through the crisis. We are now in the process of having developed new terms of reference for the PIPC. We have a, an Indigenous Foundation on its way in Panama, which will secure better communication and a stronger secretariat function by FSC for the Indigenous Peoples issues. One of the main issues that we discussed as an organization in 2017 was our own governance. We had the governance review and phase one of the governance review ongoing. It led to some results at the General Assembly, but I think we all realized that we needed to take it a step further. We're now in the process of having the phase two of the governance review, so that will help, but we didn't really get to where we had hoped. One of our big new work areas in 2017 and now also in 2018 is to become really relevant for smallholders and communities who want to become part of certification. We have a program on new approaches to smallholder and community certification. We're testing out a number of new ideas this year and I really believe that we can make a difference during 2018 which will be felt by smallholders and communities all over the world from 2019 onwards.